Hello and good morning. My GoPro sound malfunctioned on this video, so I apologize, you're gonna have to deal with my voiceover. So today, I'm at Arlington Garden in Pasadena, California, and I'm looking for the red whiskered bull bull. I have seen them here once before, but don't have any photos of them. So I figured today was the day. I'm shooting the Canon R7 along with the RF 100 to 500 millimeter lens. It's a f4.5 through 7.1. When I arrived, there was an unmistakable call in one of the trees towards the back of the garden. So I rushed over to that end. There I found a whole flock of red whiskered bull bulls. I was not in the ideal place for a nice photograph, so I just watched them for a while as they bustled around the morning. The colors in the garden are amazing, and it's a hot spot for photographers taking portraits with the colorful fall backdrops that occur this time of year. One thing you will notice is that I don't have a tripod as I usually do with the Nikon D500. I am still able to get incredible video due to the in-body stabilization of this camera. These types of handheld clips are impossible with my D500. Believe me, I've tried. The surprise for me was a western tanager that I did not expect to see here. I was also able to see some northern mockingbirds. The gardens open up at 8 a.m., but by the time the first few folks showed up around 8.15, I had been there for over an hour already, so I enjoyed the whole place to myself. The red whiskered bulbul are mainly from tropical Asia and were first spotted in Southern California in 1968 at the Huntington Gardens in the Los Angeles County Arboretum. These were likely escapees because the birds are in demand in the Asian cage bird trade. They thrive out in Los Angeles because the weather is just fine for them. While they have more recently started to expand to other parts of greater Los Angeles, they are still not commonly seen beyond the Pasadena, San Marino, and Western San Gabriel Valley area. Just goes to show you that you don't have to travel far and wide for wildlife photography. Visit your local gardens and parks, and there's more than enough to see there. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh wait, I need a thumbnail for this video. This way, this way, this way. Bye-bye.